Hello everybody. Here we would like to write equations of motion for a body who is in a rotational motion. We know in translatory motion we have basic equations of motion like V equal to U plus CAT, S equal to UT plus half AT square, V square minus U square equal to 2AS. These are the basic equations that we write in uh, translatory motion where u is called initial velocity, v is called final velocity, a is the acceleration, t is the time, s is the displacement. But here when you are in rotational motion instead of uh, linear velocity we have angular velocities. So we can write instead of in rotational motion, we have different physical quantities to study. What are they? Instead of initial linear velocity, we can use initial angular velocity. Instead of final linear velocity, we can try final angular velocity. Instead of acceleration, we can have angular acceleration alpha. Time is same of course. Instead of displacement, we can have angular displacement d theta or else theta. Taking these things into the consideration, we can rewrite our equations of motion similar to v equal to u plus a t instead of final velocity, final angular velocity, instead of initial velocity, initial angular velocity, instead of acceleration, angular acceleration and time we can write this kind of equation. Similarly, we want to write a similar equation to s equal to u t plus half a t square. Instead of displacement, angular displacement. Instead of uh, initial velocity, initial angular velocity. Time is as it is, half. Instead of acceleration, we can write angular acceleration and t square. Similarly, instead of final velocity, final angular velocity. Instead of initial velocity, initial angular velocity. Two. Instead of the acceleration, we can write angular acceleration alpha and theta. So these are the equations of the motion that we can use to study the body who is in rotational motion. Therefore, we can clearly see in any of these equations of motion, there are four variables like uh, omega, i is one variable omega f is one variable, theta is one variable, alpha is one variable and time is one variable. Right? These are the variables available in any of the given equation. So in any problem generally out of this four unknown, uh, four variables in a given equation, any three will be given and you will be asked to calculate the fourth. So depending on what is the equation given, we can choose any of the equations. Say for example, if omega i and omega f and time is given, we will use the equation to calculate alpha as omega f minus omega i by t. Suppose if the angular displacement and initial angular velocity and the time is given, to calculate the same alpha, we can write from the second equation theta minus omega i into t into 2 by t square is also equal to alpha. We can use this formula also. Suppose if omega i and omega final and angular displacement is given for you and time is not given for you, from the third equation I can write angular acceleration is omega final square minus omega initial square by 2 alpha. So it simply depends on what are the physical quantities that are given in a problem to choose which formula that simply depends on the given situation. Depending on what are the physical quantities given, we have to choose the appropriate formula.